Good day, folks. It's Sam here from the Ministry of Shirts, back with another tips and traps and a sneak peek at the press. Uh, we're doing something a bit different today, so hopefully this is helpful if you're in, getting into screen printing, but also interesting if you just have an interest. So it's the spine print, and we're going to be printing on AS Color 5001s um, for one of our regular customers. A um, few things to say. First of all, obviously, a spine print needs to run down the spine, but you need to make it as long as you can. Everybody imagines that the spine print is going to run the full length of the T-shirt. That's never possible unless it's a, a really small T-shirt. Um, so you want to make it as long as you can. Obviously, you need to get it very well centered. Uh, first tip and trap is to not go too fast. Obviously, you need your flash dryer working in time to keep the platens hot enough. But if you go too fast, the loader, if you have a loader or even yourself loading the t-shirt, will be tend to rush. And it's really, really important with a spine print, obviously, that it's vertical. So if the t-shirt is out even slightly, that print will be a wonky. So you take your time, slow down. Normally we allow six to 10 seconds to load a shirt. We might take 12 to 14 just to make sure it's really nicely balanced and not squiffy on the uh, skew if on the uh, platen. And next thing I want to say is you can see the print here, hopefully, obviously it's registered and centered nicely. Um, don't be tempted to use a small um, squeegee like this. We seldom use squeegees this size unless the print is very small, perhaps for a left chest or something. But if you use a small squeegee on a, a print like this, what will happen is because a small squeegee that the, um, the blade can bend more easily than on a long squeegee, it tends to smash the ink through, which means either at the start or at the end of the uh, print, you'll get a slight furry kind of edge, not a nice crisp edge. So do use a wide one, even wider than the one that I have there is okay. So let's get this show on the road. So obviously just do the normal back flood. Nice print, just hit it again to make sure you've completely cleared the mesh and there's no ink left in it. Let's have a look. There's our underbase gone down. Obviously black garment, we're using Wilflex. I forget what the name of the ink is, but Wilflex ink, which is a nice opaque white. Goes under the flash, obviously goes around and flashes. This gives the opportunity right now for the loader on the other side to load um, in, in a bit of time, as I said earlier. So there's our print down. Back flood once. Now on the second hit, we tend to just do one run. You don't want to put too much extra ink down. You see that's a really nice crisp print at both ends and all the way along, no smudging at all. Now with a spine print, removing um, the t-shirt in a particular way is really important. You don't really want to pull it up here and pull it back because chances are this will flip and you'll catch a bit of ink, what we call a blush, at the base of the t-shirt. So you want to pull it the way you would with a normal big print from the end here, pull it up, pull it and forward in towards the press and then slide it off. When you come to lay it on the uh, conveyor oven, so you want the full length there. This is this conveyor oven doesn't have a long lead in, so you have to kind of fold a little bit. The end here, as a habit, I always flip the collar underneath just in case the label is exposed and um, it, it'll frazzle basically at 170 degrees. Okay, let's rattle off a few of these. Let's see how we go. So again, don't rush. Sometimes maybe with a second hit, you don't even need to, to back flood on a print like this. You can just drop some ink on the end there by moving that forward and then just hit it once. Pull off at the back, slide off, drop it down, turn that over. Remember, no rushing on a print like this. Um, we tend to be able to print on a manual press like this on a second time on a manual press like this we tend to be able to do a print flash print in about a hundred an hour as someone's just walked through the front door well that's it for today's peak of the press thanks